How's it going, you guys? My name is Cole. If you don't know now, you know. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. What are you doing with your life? All right. So we have made it. Today is April 25th, 2018, and I am one and a half years on testosterone. I want to jump quickly into um, a voice comparison. So, so here's my voice one day on T versus right now. Hi, my name is Cole. Hi, my name is Cole. 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 And my name is Cole. My name is Cole. And my name is Cole. My name is Cole. And I'm one and a half years on T. I almost don't even feel like the same person. It's just weird because I am the same person, obviously. To like think where I was at a year and a half ago, just. I can't even put into words really. So let's just talk about changes. Changes that I've experienced, I guess, from when I first started tea till now. I guess we'll start with body hair and hair in general. Um, if you guys are watching me, then you are hopefully, maybe, if not, whatever. Uh, my beard growth video, so, I mean, my beard growth has just been, I think for someone that's, okay. I started to grow facial hair like four months on tea. And like, I could say I had a pretty good amount of be like beard growth, like even eight months in. I'll kind of show like a little bit of a, um, a time lapse here. Then the average trans guy, I feel like I definitely grew facial hair quicker than most guys. I just, I watch a lot of people. Sometimes guys will be a year, two years on T and barely have anything. So I'm super grateful to be able to have been able to grow facial hair that was always like literally the number one thing besides my voice dropping I've said this so many times it was like one of the number one things that I was like looking forward to um, starting tea because I just I wanted a beard so bad so with the help of like obviously testosterone and then and using minoxidil over the past years and a half I've been able to come up with this and I'm still on my beard journey but I'm definitely happy with the direction it's going I guess as far as body hair I guess I'm a little bit slower I feel just like body hair on the rest of my body I'll show you guys my like chest hair so if you guys can see I'm getting like chest hairs it's coming in more um, like up here Whereas I, you know, I just starting to get this and really notice it up here like the past month or so. This has been super slow coming in um, and then it kind of happy trails down um, here and then my stomach right here is kind of um, hairy. Body hair is slower than beard growth, which I'm fine with. Continuing with hair, like I have definitely noticed my hairline receding. Um, it used to definitely be up here and it's slowly going back and it, you know, it is what it is. It's definitely one thing I guess I'm like bummed about, but obviously I would trade a hairline in any day than not to be on hormones. So I don't necessarily try to complain about it too much. It's just part of being a man. That's just what happens. When it comes to body changes in general, my body shape has been a constant struggle for me. Number one almost thing I'm just worried about is like my waist. A lot of guys deal with this is about you know, just sort of that pear-ish shape, you know, in your hips and your lower, like I hold a lot of my fat. Like I'm pretty lean for the most part. Like I am, I'm skinny. Like I don't have much body fat, but where I do hold my body fat is like in my back. And this is me just not liking, wanting to do this, but you can see where I store my body fat. It's right here. Um, so, and then from the front, I have definitely, this right here and it's all because of my the, the fat in the back if i didn't have this i'd be a little bit straighter but that's been a constant struggle for me it's getting better it's like fat is redistributing to different areas it's i've definitely gotten straighter over time but it's still a constant battle with like because it's like in the gym like i've been able to make like a good amount of like progress muscle wise but i'm like wanting to like build more muscle but building more muscle means like eating a shit ton more food but I don't necessarily want to like eat hella because I want to stay lean and I when I, I know when I do gain weight it's in that area and I just don't I don't really want to gain weight so I'm in this constant like battle between like bulking and cutting and all that fun stuff mental okay let's just jump into like where I'm at mentally I have been mentally in a great place coming out and I mean, this can be a whole topic on itself of just like the weight off your shoulders coming out. Coming out is the hardest fucking thing to do to like tell everyone this is who you are and start with the process. It's so hard, but it's so 
worth it. And it's just like, like you can breathe. So mentally, like, just ever since I, I came out and decided like, hey, we're going on this journey, dude. Like me looking in the mirror and being like, we're doing it. It's been, I've lived my best life. And I know that sounds super corny, but, and, and I've also gotten like comments of people telling me like, I'm just like better to be around too. I feel like I have a better um, connection with friends, family. I'm better able to like be in relationships because I feel like I can give my all to somebody now. Whereas before, I always said like, how could I ever love someone if I didn't even love myself? So I feel like relationships that I've had, like I feel like I've been very selfish in a sense because I could never give them 100% me because I couldn't even give me 100%, you know? So I'm definitely at a better place mental-wise as far as relationships go. And then yeah, I just have better relationships all around in my life. I'm more confident as a person. I don't think I've ever been more confident as a person of like talking to people and my interactions are just so much different in the in the best, like in the best possible way. And that is, that's attributed to just me being confident. Every day is just is better and better and I'm getting more accustomed to, I guess, life as a man. I lived 24 years of my life as a woman, you know, living the past year and a half as a guy. It's been definitely different society-wise, like, you know, how to deal with society. Um, some things good, some things bad, some things, you know, whatever but it just it's it's been interesting to adjust to i guess is what i'm saying and like i feel like the past like maybe like six to eight months like i've really i feel comfortable i guess just getting more accustomed to this new life i'm portraying to society if that makes any freaking sense i could have totally just butchered that anyways it's really cool to just be able to look back on all these like different milestones and, and just reflect on it and then have other people see the journey and be able to relate is exactly why I'm talking to this camera right now. It's overwhelming. So on that note, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know I've kind of dropped off a little bit. Life gets a little hectic and intense sometimes, but I'm trying my best. So yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe to the channel, like this video. If you guys do have any questions, you can drop them below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.